A song of freedom for the Bergen-Belsen survivors. A rare and touching tape recording was found in the archives of the BBC showing survivors of Bergen-Belsen singing Hatikwa soon after their liberation. The BBC reporter who was with the British forces that liberated the camp documented and recorded the event while Billy's Second Army Chaplain Leslie Hartman conducted Shabbat evening services for the few survivors in the hopes of raising their morale. Here are some pictures that were taken at the time of the liberation of the camp and you can also listen to the original recording in English and the emotional singing of Hatikva by the survivors. The military rabbi Leslie Hartman of the 2nd British Army says Kaddish on the open mass grave in Bergen-Belsen just after the liberation. Seven years ago today, a remarkable recording was made in the German concentration camp of Bergen-Belsen. The recording became part of a radio report on the liberation of that death camp that was filed by Patrick Gordon Walker, who worked for the BBC. This is London calling North America. The day I reached Belsen concentration camp, the fifth day of liberation, was a Friday, the day before the Jewish Sabbath. Something like half the surviving prisoners at Belsen were Jews, and the Jewish chaplain to the British Second Army, the Reverend L. H. Hartman, held an eve of the Sabbath service in the open air in the midst of the camp. It was the first Jewish service that many of the men and women present had taken part in for six years. It was probably the first Jewish service held on German soil in absolute security and without fear for a decade. Around us lay the corpses that there had not been time to clear away even after five days. Forty thousand or more had been cleared, but there were still one or two thousand around. And people were still lying down and dying in broad daylight in front of our eyes. This was the background to this open-air Jewish service. During the service, the few hundred people gathered together were sobbing openly with joy at their liberation and with sorrow at the memory of their parents and brothers and sisters that had been taken from them and gassed and burned. These people knew they were being recorded. They wanted the world to hear their voice. They made a tremendous effort which quite exhausted them. Listen. <laughs> Survivors of Bergen Belsen singing Hatikva at Shabbat services on April 20, 1945, following their liberation by British troops of the Second Army. That transcription of a shortwave broadcast was made in New York City by Mo Ash. The recently discovered recording comes to us from the Smithsonian Center for American Folklife. The prisoners in the video and the pictures represent a very small part of the atrocity of the Holocaust but they are a living response to present and future Holocaust deniers. It is now up to us to do our utmost to prevent a repetition. We shall never forget and we shall forever remember. Testimonial and witnessing projects of commemoration are being held to encourage memorials. Survivors of the Holocaust 
must assist in the groundwork with authentic testimonies. A commemorative project and centre of heritage and learning is to be erected in Krasava. We appeal to those who have faith in the future of the state in his heart and who has a link in any way to the Holocaust and understands its relevance to assist us to get this project started.